Quentin. Hi, I'm Alex. So we are PhD students here at UCSD and our project is Kinect Fusion on FPGA. What is Kinect Fusion? This is this amazing project developed by Microsoft Research a few years ago that uses a Kinect camera, a cheap 3D sensing camera, to create a 3D model of an entire room just by holding the Kinect by hand and moving around. And everything is done in real time. Because it is real time, they were able to develop these augmented reality features to make virtual objects interact with the real world and paint on real world objects. But to run in real time, this project needs to use a GPU, a powerful graphics accelerator that is very power hungry. This is the same kind of graphic cards that you use to run the latest game at high resolution. But we think the future of this kind of application is on mobile devices and embedded systems. Like, you could start playing augmented reality games on your phone, or this could be a cheap 3D sensor for robots and drones. So that's why we decided to modify this project to make it run on a FPGA, which is much more power efficient, it's much better for embedded systems and still has a very high performance. The reason it gets high performance is because it's a hardware that you can customize, but this is difficult to do and we are not hardware engineers. So we are using this tool developed by Altera that is using the OpenCL programming language to create a FPGA design. And OpenCL is a great language because you can program on CPUs, multiple GPUs, and now FPGA. So we use this OpenCL programming language to modify the original Kinect Fusion project and make it run partially on the FPGA at low power. This is a demonstration we created where we successfully ported a portion of the Kinect Fusion application onto an FPGA. Here we have the camera tracking portion of the Kinect Fusion application running on the FPGA. As you can see, as we are walking around the room and recording the scene, the reconstruction on the top left is being stitched together in real time. At the top right, you can see the depth stream provided by the Kinect. Black means the surface is closer to the Kinect, whereas white means that the surface is farther away. These depth images are fused together in real time to form the final reconstruction at the top left. We have a really cool 3D model where we took the color information from the Kinect and fused it with our full reconstruction of the scene. So we were able to make the Kinect Fusion project run partially on a low power device. Hopefully in the future, we will make it run entirely on that kind of device for embedded systems. Thank you. Thank you.
take the blue pill and stay in the world of power-hungry general-purpose computing, take the red pill and you will enter a world of power-efficient, specialized hardware. Remember, all I'm offering you is embedded systems.